Up next on Sci-Fi Annecy, Green Strawberry Colonial Raptor Interior. Hey everybody, it's me, Kenny Conklin, that's been missing in action for a few weeks from doing videos, had a whole bunch of stuff going on, actually working on a special project and doing a few other things. But today we're going to be taking a look at the Green Strawberry 132nd Scale Colonial Raptor interior, which goes along with the Colonial Raptor exterior set they have. So if you started building it and you've already done the interior, you're kind of missing out on this. But if you haven't done it yet, you could get both sets and make the ship look a lot better with both sets. As always, I'd like to thank Lucas over at Green Strawberry for sending the product over for review. And he's sending a couple more products over. I know the snow speeder he has out is new. He also has new flaps for the engine bells coming out and also another deck set that's gonna be coming out too. So with the special project I'm working on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a little clue over here until we're done and it's blown up and you'll see what we're doing. It's gonna take a while to get it done, but it'll be there eventually. So let's take a look at what we got from Green Strawberry. This way you can see what's in the package. So as usual, we'll start off with the packaging that you all already know comes from Green Strawberry. It's the resealable package. It's the 132nd scale Colonial Raptor. It comes with the PE set, plus instructions and maybe something else in here. And it's kit 004217. So let's open this guy up and see what we have inside. And we'll start off with the instruction sheet as usual. And up top, it'll show you what's in the kit. Here's the key for all the little icons they have. This way you know what you're doing. And then it'll go through the fold out of starting with seat belts and then working through for the seat and the interior computers. And then more seat belts and flooring. And then you have a whole bunch more like little boxes, more computers on the side. And it goes through everything that you're going to be putting together on the ship. It's a, it's a big kit and it actually has more in it than I thought and we'll get to showing you that in a second. And as usual with the green strawberry interior kits it comes with a plastic film that will be able to be used for lighting. You can put it behind the PE and it's got instrumentation clusters and everything like that on here which is a little difficult to see on camera but once we get to the slideshow We'll show you more pictures of what's going on with the kit itself. And the other thing that Green Strawberry puts inside the kit is a paper sheet that you, if you're not going to light it up, it's actually colored and you could cut these out and put them behind or you can actually use them to color up behind the plastic film. It's a little more difficult, but you can definitely do it if you want to use these also at the same time. So let's get over to the PE. Now, to my surprise, the package was very heavy and I, for some reason, I only thought it was the one PE sheet in here, but there's actually three sheets of PE in here and you'll be able to go crazy on the interior of this guy. So let's take a look at each sheet individually. As always, I'll show you the PE set, but then we're going to do a little slideshow so you can see it in working action instead of me just pointing it out because sometimes it's difficult to see the little pieces, but there is a whole, whole lot of PE going on here. You have seat belts, you have buckles, you have floor pedals, the flooring itself, walls for the interior. I'm pretty sure this is for the seating. You have main instrumentation cluster panels, more computers for the side, venting. Uh, I'm not sure what these are because I really didn't go over the directions too much. Uh, you got more seat belts over here, more control panels here. Green Strawberry and Lucas really went crazy and updated the interior of this thing. It's going to be amazing once you actually put all this stuff in there if you want to use it all. So let's take a look at another sheet. On the second sheet, you have more decking. I think this one is the box with the diamond plate on it. You have more instrumentation panels that will be able to be lit up. More instrumentation panels here that with just buttons that can't be lit up. You'll dot those in so they look good. Same thing over here. You'll have a screen here with a lot of little dots. These look like speakers or something like that. And more ribbing for the inside detail. So let's take a look at the last sheet before we get to the slideshow. And then the final sheet of PE, you have some more small parts, a lot more instrumentation panels. I didn't realize how much instrumentation was actually in this ship. So you'll have a lot of lighting to do, a lot of squeezing of little lights in. I'm not sure what these mesh ones are for on the inside. I got to take a look at that and see what those are, but they're very finely detailed. So you'll, you want to be careful 
cutting these off and bending them very gently because you don't want to mess up the middle of those there and then you got another big instrumentation cluster here so instead of taking a look at these like this let's take a look at them in action on the slideshow so in the first slide here's a better look at the pe sheets the plastic film and the paper this is what you'll get inside the package also the instructions will be with it too in the second picture, you'll be able to see the seat belts, the console in the middle between the seats, the front instrumentation panel, and the side panels. This way you can enhance those. This is a different view. This way you can see on the floor, it looks like the pedals, and you can actually see the monitors here where you'll be able to light those up or use the paper film and have those colored in if you want to. Here's a side view of more instrumentation, also the walls filled in with more PE to give them texture. Here's a side view of the ship. This way you can see into the back. You can see the flooring, you can see monitors. You can see a little bit of the front with the seat belts again and the metal on the side of the captain's chairs. Here's another side view. This way you get a better look at the flooring and the monitors in the back and the computer systems and also the PE on the walls to give it more of an effect of being slotted Here's an above view of the whole ship and you can see that green strawberry has pretty much redone the whole interior to give it a better feel and look much better than the original kit comes with. Here's a side by side of the flooring and more seat belts on the side. Also the instrumentation down the sides and a few more bits and bobs that are put into the interior of the ship. So that's it on this overview of the green strawberry colonial raptor interior set. This thing is just gonna take it to the next level. They put so much detail into it, they pretty much just took out the Mobius cockpit and putting their own cockpit in there. So as always, I'd like to thank Green Strawberry for sending it over. And if you haven't been to their website yet, you can go to greenstrawberry.cz and see all the products they have and the newer products coming out. Sorry, I haven't been updating scifianacy.com. I haven't been on there in a while, just posting some stuff, but we got some updates to do and hopefully you guys come over and check that out. And also everybody knows Boyd has stopped his Sunday live shows that were every other Sunday. Unfortunately, you know, he's got a lot of stuff to do for himself and for his business that he's running. So it's a little difficult to keep up with that content. I know a couple other people are trying to do something in his place. This way the community can have something. So I was curious if I was thinking of doing the live shows myself, but not yet, not until I get back from summer vacation, and then I'll probably do them on a Saturday night instead of a Sunday night. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments below. And if we get enough people interested in another live show, we'll do On the Bench with Sci-Fi Annecy on Saturday nights, probably around seven or eight o'clock Eastern time. So thanks again, everybody, for stopping by and checking out the video. Sorry I haven't been around in a while. I am working on my brother's Rodan, and we'll get some more video of that up soon. So that's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification icon. We'll see you all soon. Take care and bye-bye.